hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel this video is regarding a dynamic form i have already made a video on dynamic form uh, if you want to check out that please see in the above link so i will just explain in previous video what i have done so basically we have a form here so these questions is power apps code can we build a dynamic field in power apps these are dynamic okay so for example we have this one question list where we have mentioned number of questions okay and those questions we are showing it here and we have only one type of option which is radio button okay and based on selection whenever you will submit it will get saved in one of the list answers okay now in this video what we are going to do is like we will not only use one option so this why i am making this video because one of the person chirag he has asked me like how we can use dynamic control like for each question we don't want to be a radio button for some we want text box some for some we want radio button for some we want date picker a kind of this thing okay so basically what we are going to make a change in the existing form is we are creating one more column here control type okay which will define this question will have what type of option whether it's a text box radio date picker so if i will click on new you will see this is a choice column i have created where we have different options okay like this way you can write different controls name okay now i will show how we can use it so basically what we are going to do is like in this gallery we are just getting the data source questions i am just starting from in the existing form if you want to see how it was built please see my another video dynamic form which is coming in the above so in this gallery we will just give the data source questions which we are using it here okay and based on that this gallery will display all those questions now what we are going to do is like in the app on start we will declare one collection in this collection things will be there one two formula will be there one what we will do is like we will create one temporary collection which will contains answers so I will give it name as answer in this what we are going to do is like we will use the same data source question and we will add one column here answer okay so we will just do add columns then we need to give the source name which is obviously questions will explain why i am doing this and here we will add one column answer by default it will have the empty value okay. so i will just do run on start now if i will see in this we have got we have got all the values from the questions with one extra column answer here okay now how we are going to use it so before going further what we will do is like this is one of the radio button okay same way i will just insert one text input we will insert people picker not people picker sorry date picker yeah we have inserted three values now what we are going to do is like see in this questions list we have another column control type okay so these controls we will be showing based on 
the control type if suppose for that question control type is text box then this control will be only visible if it is a date picker then this if it is a radio button then this like that way you can define for another controls now the question is how you will come to know like for how you are going to save the answers okay that's the reason we have just copied we have replicated this question table into the answer call with one more column answer now how we are going to use it is like in every control on the change event we will write one formula here if in this collection name so the collection name will be and and the condition will be like the id is equal to this item dot id so basically what see this course this answer call is nothing but the replica of these questions okay and so id will be the same for each row what we are defining so what we are doing like we are just selecting a particular id in this answer call based on the question we have here okay that's the reason we have this item dot id it is taking from the gallery for each row okay and we will add it here and now this on change is for the radio button so here what we will do we will put radio one dot radio one dot selected dot value okay. the same formula we will copy into other controls just move this default value so the same formula in on change event the only difference will be this now we they we are changing this text input so we need to capture and text input to dot text and name dot text same way for the date picker The control name is date picker one dot selected dot. We just move it into text so that we will not have any issue with saving the data because in this answer we have this as single line or multiple line of text based on whatever you want to give. now we have converted into text then you can select the date format also whatever you want so suppose sort it okay now this is now the question is like we cannot display all these three controls for the same question correct now what we are going to do is like for each control in the visible properties we will check what is the control type needs to be used for that question so it will be this item dot control type this is my kind of name because it's a choice column so control type is record that's the reason we need to use control type dot value is equal to radio then only it will get visible the same thing we need to do for text box this item which represents a individual row of the gallery then control i dot value is equal to text box 
same thing we need to do for dead breather. is equal to date picker so if you see we have three questions all of different control type text box radio date picker and if i will play we will get like this text box radio button and date picker now let me show you something in this if you will see answer has no value you can check it out here also in the collections okay so answer doesn't have any value we'll see step by step if i change anything here if i select here and if i select this the value will be getting saved in the answer so let's see in our collection whether it got saved or not see answer none and the date now we will save this to answer list okay so in submit button i need to change the formula which i was using previously so instead of this question dynamic form dot all items which is my gallery name i need to use my answer button and as usual patch we need to do this is my set point list default which will create a new record title which is the question and the control name is title 3 and dot text if you will see here this is title 3 label name is title 3 okay because it is for all it will read each one and the same way this we need to replace with our and now let's see when I submit I have submitted it is successful also let's see in the answer it got saved or not I'll, yeah see is gallery to use this this yeah we got one issue here the questions are same i will tell you why in the on change if you will see this update if when we are passing answer this then basically what it is doing is like it is changing the whole thing whole thing in the sense the other column values as same only okay then how to prevent it doing so we'll do one thing We'll just add here we can use something else here because we want to update a particular answer column only but here it is getting updated the whole question whole column okay it is not updating the whole column it is updating the particular answer value only but what is the issue is like we are using this title 3 dot text and here if you will see we are not doing for all this gallery one means question dynamic form so we should not use this title 3 we should use something else okay so if suppose we come here and see which column contains the question we need to use that column title 
so it will be directly title so what is happening like we are doing for all this answer call and we are patching to the answer set point list and for each we need to give the column name here previously it was taking the gallery label title 3 due to which it was saving this last one okay we'll just delete all the things from here first so that we can see the new record properly okay so let's our apps yes and it will be it okay submit submitted let's see how it comes here yeah see is power apps good test power apps can we build a dynamic fill in power app yes is gallery good to use yes thank you very much to watch please subscribe if you like my video and let me know if you have any doubts and any questions feel free to comment yeah thank you